Giant Trader, and this is Midday Trading. So I'm going to take a look here at crude oil, natural gas, but first of all, I'm going to take a look here at NVIDIA and at Tesla. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, selling stock from my ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have NVIDIA daily chart. Now, today she went into the old Dow, and you can see the, just a really nice run-up that we've had. So today we hit a high of 149.77. A little higher than that in uh, pre-market, it got to uh, 149.95. Okay, so a very, very good trading. So let's just take a look. If we break that, you're looking at that. I always say that those clean numbers, one, uh, uh, 150 level. I came within five cents, so I apologize for not hitting that five cent mark. <laughs> okay, so let's just take a look here at the, the downside here first. Okay, so. What we want to watch, obviously, is uh, we want to watch uh, uh, yesterday's low. That's 146.17. Today's here, we got a low here so far of uh, 146.26, so we're holding that area. Now, again, if that's lost here, we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the top of this candle, okay, uh, right there. Okay, so you're looking at 144.42, uh, and then we have this gap. I want to show you that gap, okay? So what we got there is uh, a 141.96, and then we have the fill which is 140.37, uh, uh, okay? So there's that gap, okay? One uh, 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 41.96, and then the top of that candle at 140.37, gap and fill. Then we have this nice eight day, which is sitting at 140.69, and we have that 21 day at 139.58 here, okay? So this was the gap up here when they said it was gonna go into the Dow, and then she just rallied up here very, very strongly. Now, uh, one thing I was going to say, I mean, this was the election, I should say, the election. This was here uh, when it went to the Dow area here. That was the election. Okay. Now, uh, if we break this 149.77, let's say we'll call it like 150 level here, then you can start running all the way up here, 160. And eventually, I think you're going to get to the 200 area on this stock here with no problem. Okay. Now, again, remember, the earnings are coming out here on the 20th. So... To me, I say you want to get ahead of those earnings. I think the earnings are going to be very, very good. we got to see how this is all going to shake out here, okay? Now, we do have a, just a little bit of a negative divergence where you can see where we have a high here. Then we have a higher high, but we have a lower high here. So you got a little bit of negative divergence going on here on the RSI. Now, here, your MACD, your green look like it's over your red here. So there's really no issue kind of a situation. But what you want to do is just watch that key level. That's yesterday's low, that 146.17, okay? And then watch that gap. Okay, 141.96, uh, and then watch that that fill at 140.37, and then that eight day, okay, at 140.68 uh, uh, there, and then we want to watch that 20 then, one day at 139.50. Now, anytime, if this happens to sell down here, that's going to be a great buying opportunity. Take that bad boy long, and then we're going to go higher with it. Okay, let's take a look here now at Tesla. Okay, uh, Tesla. Here's the weekly chart. Uh, the daily chart, well, she obviously she blew right through, okay? Now, Elon Musk uh, really put himself in a great position here. Now, Trump won this uh, uh, was a, won the presidency here in the United States, and I think Elon is going to be going in there into one of his cabinet things like uh, efficiency, okay? But this is going to do nothing but help him kind of a situation here. You can see it's going to help the stock and everything that's rolling. You can see how we have a nice big breakout. Okay, so what we're looking for, we're looking for the top of that candle right there, that 271, obviously above that. We're looking for the top of this candle here at that, that 299.29. We're obviously above it. So then we have to look here at these next levels here, okay? So then we have a high of 313.80, obviously above it. We're sitting at 318. So then we just keep following right on up here, okay? So what do you got here next? Is we're really is we're looking here for is you're looking at that 336 level here, okay? So look at 336.21. Remember when this stock moves, it moves, okay? So you're looking at 336.21, and then we can come up to, to the top of this candle here. You're looking at 364.07, and then we can have this retest. So you got some big numbers here, 384.29. Bring that price channel across here. What do we got? You got 4267, and you got that big retest up here at 4 uh, 14.50. Now again, this is trading on. Uh, 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 Momo, okay, and FOMO, okay, fear of missing out, and Momo stock, because they say, oh, this is going to help here, help the stock, and this is going to help Tesla, and it's going to go all the way on out here, okay, so that's what you're trading on, so this is really not trading on earnings or anything like that, this is trading on, I want to be a part of Tesla, I want to be a part of Elon Musk kind of situation, so just watch that, okay, now, if it does sell down, what we do is we just take these uh, uh, levels here, and we just do the reverse of what we had for the resistance, now they become support. So you, you want to look at the top of that candle right there. So that's that 299 level. That's going to be key. 
Then we'll look to the top of this candle here. You got that 278.98. Then we'll come right over here to the top of this candle right there. Okay, so you're looking at that 271 flat level. Okay, so this is what you're going to be looking at here on the downside. So as we're going on up these resistance levels, now these all these levels here become support here if this sells on down here. Now you do have uh, plenty of room to run, but you're getting towards that 70 mark here. So just be a little careful. You've got the green over the red. Uh, you got to be a little careful, but this is a big running stock here. You got to figure it got all the way down here to the bottom of this candle right here before the election. Okay, you're looking at uh, uh, two twelve eleven, and now you're at three sixteen. So you got a hundred some points off of this Tesla stock here. The guy made an excellent bet. Now I'm long the stock, and I also traded daily, so I'm right in the picture here too. Okay, so let's take a look here now at crude oil. Okay, here we have crude oil. Now oil was running up here. Uh, on these war premiums, like I've been saying, I don't know, a zillion times. Now, today, it's selling right on off here, okay? Uh, we had an inside data start, but basically what it is, there was a hurricane storm coming in towards the Florida. Now that storm weakened, and now she's going to come off. Now she's coming off here. But, again, uh, as soon as Trump got elected here, all the big shooters from all these countries are calling him. So I think they're going to work out a deal here to get right out of it. Just remember when he was the president before, okay, there weren't any wars, okay? They're, yeah, they've got a little spats here and there, but that, that taken care of. So this is, wars are bad for everything, for everybody's economy and for the whole nine yards. So we're going to get back to a normal situation going on here. So remember, these are war premiums here. And realistically, I think he's going to want crude oil, uh, you know, much, much lower. I went short today with the SCO. Um, once I seen that, that it came over global news, that the storms are weakening, well, that sends oil right on down. So let's look at the downside here first. So today we had a low here of 69.99. Uh, uh, we want to look right there to the bottom of that candle right there, 69.74. That's a level that we're looking at. And then we're going to come right here to the bottom of this candle. You're looking at 69.32, and then we just follow the candles down. you got 68.30. We have uh, 67.28. You got your nice big retest down here at 66.72, which is the bottom of that candle. Now, again, if that holds, you're fine. If not, we're going to come right over here. You got uh, 66.33, then we have uh, 65.63, and then your big retest, 65.27. Okay, so uh, upside here is basically all of these simple moving averages. Okay, and they're all pretty much intertwined. You got 70.87 on your eight day. We got. Uh, uh, 70, uh, 73, and then we have your 50 day at 70, 73. So everything is jammed up right there. You need to close back above that, and then she could possibly go higher. But you can see here with these three sticky, these are all uh, indecision candles, and obviously they didn't do anything. And so we got to come down. So realistically, watch all these simple moving average. If we can get above that, then we can look at yesterday's high, that's 72.88. And then your big target up here is 74.59 level. But now, again, hasn't got up there. But without that war premium, without that, um, uh, you know, hurricane or storm issue here, I don't see any reason here that says, hey, this is going to go higher at this particular time. Okay, let's take a look here at natural gas. Okay, here we have natural gas, pretty much a nothing burger. Okay, but, okay, that's not being say, big but here. Okay, we're holding this level here. Okay, so today's low we had it was 267. So as long as we're holding this 265 level, this is good shape. But this is right here. If you look at the poll, okay, this is a bull flag situation. Okay, so we got to see how this is all going to shake up. But right now, see, we have a high, lower high, lower high, lower high, but we're holding that. Now, again, if this starts losing that 265, we come down here, that bull flag is negated. Okay, that pattern is all done, and we're going to go lower. Okay, so realistically, what you want to watch here is watch this 265 level. That's lost, you're going to come right here to 263. Okay, if that's lost, you're going to come right over here. You're looking at uh, a 258, and then your big key levels here is going to be this 21-day at 255, and right there at 253, that is going to be your target zone right there for the old natural gas. Okay, upside, you got to do something here with this eight-day. You got to get above this. That's 271, and then we can just follow the candles up. You look to yesterday's high, 277. We'll come up here. You're looking at uh, 279, and then we come up here to this candle, 2.81, and then your big target up there at 2.9. So right now, what you do is just got to go sideways action. I didn't take any scalps today, long or short. There just isn't enough there. I'm in Costco. That is doing awesome. I'm in Goldman Sachs. I'm in Tesla, and I'm waiting to see what's going to happen here with NVIDIA here today. But there's a lot of other good trades here besides what's going on here at the natural gas. There isn't enough movement for me, okay? Now, RSI here, I just still flat ski. Uh, your green is over your red, but we got to see how this is all going to shake. 
check out. We got like a sideways action, but let's just see if this bull flag, if it uh, uh, plays out. If it doesn't, if it, it'll come right down here. If it does, you'll crack that uh, 2.81 and we'll send it to 2.91. Okay, that's what I got for you. And I'll be back here after the old uh, pit calls. Take a look at crude natural gas and who knows, we'll throw something else in the old mix. All right, thanks for watching.